For thousands of years, the landscape of northeastern Ethiopia has carried the quiet illusion of permanence, a terrain shaped by ancient eruptions but undisturbed in human memory. But in late 2025, that silence broke. A volcano long believed to be dormant, and one with no documented activity in nearly 12 millennia, suddenly reawakened, sending ash into the sky, across borders, and into the very heart of East Africa's fragile ecosystem. What unfolded was not just a geological event, but a moment of scientific surprise and humanitarian concern. The Haile Gubi volcano, positioned in Ethiopia's Afar region, roughly 500 miles northeast of Addis Ababa and close to the Eritrean frontier, erupted on a Sunday morning, releasing towering columns of ash and gas. According to atmospheric monitoring data, the plume surged as high as 14 kilometers into the atmosphere, an altitude typically associated with large explosive eruptions capable of influencing air travel, visibility, and regional climate patterns. What makes this eruption extraordinary is not simply its force, but its timing. The Smithsonian Institution's Global Volcanism Program has no recorded eruptions for Haile Gubi during the Holocene, a geological period spanning the last 12,000 years. This effectively places the volcano in the category of long silent systems that few expected to awaken. Volcanologists, including experts such as Michigan Technological University's Simon Karn, publicly noted that the mountain had no historical eruption record, reinforcing the sense of scientific astonishment surrounding the event. Despite the dramatic visuals of rising ash and ground rumbling, local authorities reported no immediate human casualties. However, the economic impact on surrounding pastoral communities may be extensive, the Afar region is home largely to nomadic herders whose livelihoods depend on grazing land. Local officials explained that thick ashfall blanketed many villages, leaving animals with rapidly diminishing pasture. Without access to vegetation, livestock, the primary source of food and income, face severe stress. For communities already navigating drought cycles and regional instability, the eruption adds another layer of hardship. A resident described hearing an explosive sound followed by a sensation similar to a shockwave, likening it to the detonation of a massive explosive device. The description suggests a sudden release of pressure consistent with explosive volcanic activity inside the Rift Valley. Haile Gabi sits within the East African Rift System, one of the most geologically active regions on Earth. This enormous rift marks the boundary between the Nubian and Somali tectonic plates. The region is slowly pulling apart at a rate of several millimeters per year, creating a hotspot for earthquakes, fissures, and volcanic activity. The Afar Depression, just to the north, is one of the few places on Earth where a mid-ocean ridge system rises above sea level. It is often described by geologists as a glimpse into the early stages of continental breakup. Within this environment, an eruption of a volcano that had been quiet since the end of the last ice age adds a new and unexpected chapter to the region's geological evolution. The eruption's impact did not stop at Ethiopia's borders. Using upper-level winds, ash drifted across the Red Sea, moving westward and reaching the skies over Yemen, Oman, Pakistan, and even parts of India, as confirmed by the Volcanic Ash Advisory Center. Such long-range transport of volcanic ash is not unprecedented. Eruptions in Iceland and Indonesia have traveled even farther, but for East Africa, this scale is unusual. Ash at high altitudes can affect aviation routes, disrupt satellite imagery, and in dense concentrations pose risks to aircraft engines. While no major disruptions were reported, regional aviation authorities were advised to reroute flights if concentration levels increased. Videos circulating on social media displayed massive vertical plumes of white and gray ash rising from the eruption site. Though independent verification of early footage was still pending, the imagery aligned with satellite observations from moderate-resolution imaging sensors. 
Residents in nearby communities described the event as sudden and startling, particularly given that it occurred in an area where volcanic activity is rarely in the public consciousness, despite the underlying tectonic dynamism. Volcanologists see the eruption as a rare opportunity to study an understudied volcanic system. When a volcano with no Holocene activity suddenly becomes active, questions arise about magma pathways, tectonic stress changes, and long-term pressure buildup. Key research questions include whether the eruption signals the reactivation of a previously dormant magma reservoir, how tectonic stretching in the Rift Valley may have opened new conduits, and whether more volcanic activity in the region can be expected in the coming years. Given the region's limited monitoring infrastructure, the eruption underscores the need for enhanced seismic and gas emission surveillance to better predict future events. While the immediate loss of life was avoided, the longer-term humanitarian picture remains uncertain. Communities rely on livestock as their economic backbone with cattle, goats and camels, forming the basis of trade and subsistence. Ashfall can contaminate water sources, poison vegetation and cause respiratory problems for both people and animals. The Afar region already faces recurring drought, food insecurity and heat extremes. According to recent UN assessments, Parts of northeastern Ethiopia consistently rank among the most climate-vulnerable populations in Africa. An eruption that blankets grazing land in ash could push entire villages into crisis if aid does not arrive quickly. High-altitude ash can reflect sunlight, temporarily cooling surface temperatures regionally, though this event is not large enough to produce global climate shifts. However, sulfur content, not yet publicly quantified, could determine whether short-term localized cooling or acid rain becomes an issue. The eruption of Haley Gubby may be over, but its implications are only beginning to be understood. Scientists will likely study ash composition, seismic activity, and gas output for months, while local communities brace for the economic fallout. For a region built around the rhythms of pastoral life, and shaped by one of Earth's most dramatic tectonic landscapes. The reawakening of a silent volcano serves as a powerful reminder that geological time can suddenly collide with human time, reshaping land, livelihoods, and scientific expectations in a single day.